Hello friends, welcome again to God's Eagle Ministries. My name is Ambassador Mande Ogwajo Orojo. We are God's Eagle Ministries. We are seeding the nations with God's word and God himself is transforming lives through his timeless truth, one content at a time. We're one in Christ Jesus, let's see one. Evangelism, discipleship, counseling, healing, deliverance, restoration and prayer with our walls, brothers, and denominations and uh, with this is a series on prayer we've looked at uh, 30 reasons to pray uh, we looked at 10 hindrances of prayer we looked at 30 reasons for an answered prayer uh, we looked at um, six kinds of prayer six ways to pray we looked at 20 reasons for fasting we looked at prayer of repentance and forgiveness we looked at prayer of sanctification, we looked at prayer of revival, we looked at prayer, uh, four critical steps to praying, uh, we looked at also uh, 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 the spirit, soul, and the body when we're praying the prayer series, the spirit, soul, and the body, because Jesus said in John chapter 4, verse 20 to 24, that the time has come, the time is now, all who worship God will worship God in spirit and in truth, okay? and uh, why are we looking at the series on prayer? Jesus said in Matthew 21, 25, that, uh, that my house, uh, it is written, my heart, sh house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. But you guys have turned it into a uh, den for robbers. That's paraphrased by me now. And Isaiah 56 verse 7 was where uh, God spoke to Isaiah and Jesus pulled that out and said, this is written. So the house of God is for the house of prayer for all nations, not just for Christians, all nations. Okay, and so um, we took taking the prayer on anxiety, turning anxiety into peace of mind. Now we're looking at uh, turning barrenness into fruitfulness. Now, God is, before we go on, let us pray. Father God Almighty, we just want to thank you uh, for this time. Thank you for the privilege to uh, uh, equip us uh, those who are listening to me and myself on how to pray and to be engaged in prayer. And so, Lord, even as we gather now, Spirit of the Living God, I ask that you take charge of scriptures that are needed, amplification that needs to be done, a re echoing that needs to be done. Spirit of the Living God, I ask that you do that so that, Lord, your people will be blessed by it and they'll be able to apply it to their situation and circumstances in Jesus' name. So, turning prayer to turn barrenness into fruitfulness and uh, we see severally over scripture the intention of god for us that are on earth it says that in genesis chapter 1 uh, verse 22 the first instruction went out this was the uh, the fifth day it says increase when the fruits and all the other things came up when living things begin to be made it says be fruitful multiply fill the earth be productive essentially. Then in, in the sixth day, in Genesis 1, 28, it told man again to be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, have dominion, and all of that. And then we go on in Exodus 23, 26, it says, there shall be no one miscarrying or barren in our land. I'll fulfill the number of your days. Okay, so barrenness is um, the state of not being able to produce, either produce children, either produce in your business, either produce in your life, either work the purpose of God outside the plan of God and the vision of God for your life. So that is that is that's not the plan of God. The plan of God is that we should be productive and we should be fruitful. And so we're going to be praying uh, concerning uh, fruitfulness. We learn in in the story in. Uh, Mark chapter 11, I think verse 25, there about, or 24, uh, where Jesus cursed the fig tree because the fig tree was green, uh, but it was, you can see the green over there. It, it, it's green, but it was not producing. It was not producing fruit. And Jesus cursed that. So this is just to tell you the divine order that our plans and our purposes has to align, our prayers has to align with divine order. Just get a scripture that has to do with whatever it is that you praise, pray in God, I agree with that scripture and call forth into uh, manifestation. So we're going to be praying concerning barrenness uh, this morning. So let's thank the Lord. Let's
Let's pray that our wife, our children, our wives, we give back to the child children that will bring glory to God in the name of Jesus because we know the plan of God is a fruitfulness that our children will bring forth uh, the uh, wives will bring forth children uh, that will bring glory to God in the mighty name of Jesus. So we proclaim as many that are not productive in the things of the uh, children and in, in, in giving back to children in, in being pregnant. We ask with God that fruitfulness become their portion now in the name of Jesus. We declare fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. We command that every root of barrenness in our life will bring forth with fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. And we ask the Lord to help us to move from merely bearing fruit to bearing much fruit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, for delivering us from spiritual barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray that we will experience fruitfulness in the area where there has been barrenness in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. We proclaim that the promotion of the Lord to our life will be will move us from barrenness of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus we proclaim promotions promotions from one level to the other to the glory of God Almighty as many that are hearing me right now they are playing playing together with me even right now in the name of Jesus we pray to cancel the cause that may have caused spiritual barrenness in the name of Jesus we break that cause we cancel that cause now in the name of Jesus this is costness cause shall not alive so shall it be there shall be blessing we declare rains of blessing rains upon them now in Jesus name we pray to to cancel the bondage of genetic genetic disease in the family to 10 generations in the name of Jesus and we prophesy the blessing of children into the life of any barren person under the sound of my voice right now I decree and declare as a representative of God as a priest and a king I declare that the bondage of, of, of uh, I declare I prophesy the blessing of children into the life of any barren person now in the name of jesus christ amen we pray to receive the blessing of our of uh, uh of god that unlock hidden blessings in the name of jesus christ hidden blessings they are hidden blessings we will recover those hidden blessings now in the name of jesus we pray to receive the blessing of a man of uh, sorry we pray for the barren woman who know that they will become joyful mothers in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that God, joyful mothers is their portion in Jesus' name. We cause every cause, every every root of barrenness in the life of our loved ones in the name of Jesus. Amen. We give you praise because you will not withhold any good thing from us in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray to come against all manifestation of barrenness in the form of retention, lock up wounds and hindrances. We declare lock up wounds be open now in the name of Jesus. We declare form any form of retention. We declare be released now in the name of Jesus. Wound healthy hindrance we declare be removed now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that there shall be non barren in our home in Jesus' name. And we pray that every area of our life that is yearning for supply from God will be filled in the name of Jesus. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to stop those areas of barrenness in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for your promise to make us fruitful in all things. That's our portion in Jesus. We prophesy fruitfulness to every area of our ministry in the name of Jesus. Every area of ministry, we prophesy fruitfulness. Every area of our body, we prophesy fruitfulness. Every area of our business, we prophesy fruitfulness. Every area of weakness, we prophesy strength in the name of Jesus. Every area of poverty, we prophesy riches in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that our faith will grow just as Sarah faith grew in the times of her waiting in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We ask that you spoken into the life as was spoken into the life of Rebecca. We confess that one day our own children will possess the gates of their enemies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Like Leah, we pray that the areas that have become barren because we are on love. We receive life again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Like Rachel, we pray 
release every agony and burden of our heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. Like Samuel's mother would make a covenant with God and dedicate the miracle we will receive to the Lord even before it happens in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, God, because out of our barrenness, God, you will be glorified in Jesus' name. You know, repent of trusting in the arm of flesh and ask you, Lord, to take control in Jesus' name. We give you, God, praise for the breakthrough you have already given us in the name of Jesus. Barrenness is caused by despising what God appreciates. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us of such uh, sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that has caused despising what God has appreciated in our lives, we declare that it's removed now in the name of Jesus. We confess them now. We ask forgiveness from the Lord in the name of Jesus. We pray that, Lord, you will, uh, you will fill us with harvest ideas in the name of Jesus. Fill us with harvest ideas, even in this time of scarcity. In the name of Jesus, we destroy the yoke of financial barrenness in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. We declare, be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. We destroy the yoke of financial barrenness in our lives. In the name of Jesus, amen. We declare, you are broken this moment in the name of Jesus. We, amen. We pray for renewal in the area of vision and zeal that we will regain our momentum in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that we will conceive with the right seed, vision, and ideas in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray to reject every tendency of miscarriagement of our seed or pregnancy in the name of Jesus. We reject it. We reject spirit, soul, and body. Reject it now in the name of Jesus. Without this seed, there is no harvest. We pray that the Lord will open our heart and show us what to sow in the name of Jesus. And we pray that, Lord, you will see us through to the birthing in the name of Jesus. Amen. We ask you, Lord, for the grace to keep asking until something happens in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace not to lose heart, to be steadfast in you, to be fervent in our prayer. That our prayer also engage our spirit, it will engage our soul, it will engage our body in the name of Jesus, so that answers shall come like the noonday sun in the name of Jesus. And we pray to our womb to come alive. We declare wombs that are dead. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Wombs that are there, come alive now in the name of Jesus. Wombs that are there, come alive now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We ask you, Lord, uh, for the grace to keep asking until something happens in Jesus. And we pray that all resources we have lost will be regained in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We declare by faith that the every aspect of our life shall keep bearing fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We take authority over the area of continual barrenness in our life and command that it turn around for fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Amen. We confess by faith that contrary to the words of experts, the Lord will break through and supply whatever this palm count has been low. Wherever the palm count has been low in Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, that we turn every mockery of our condition to a stepping stone, to a greater testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your name, Lord, because you will cause us to experience the travails of a pregnant woman in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We rejoice. Uh, we reject air hard labor and prolong travail in the name of Jesus. And we confess by faith that the Lord gave us our womb and we will use it to carry our own children in the name of Jesus. By faith, we begin to declare the kind of men and women that will be raised in our house in the name of Jesus. We give you God praise for the member of our children who will bless our life with in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, because our children shall possess their possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. By faith, we begin to pray and claim the blessing that belong to our children in advance in the name of Jesus. In our boldly, I declare according to the word of God that we shall give birth in the name of Jesus. We prophesy we are giving birth in the name of Jesus. We pray that according to God's word that the children he has for us in his plan will come into life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Command that every womb that is shut shall be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. We confess by faith, uh, by confess that our will receive the breakthrough of childbirth and that the world will rejoice with us in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that the vision that the Lord has given unto us, we declare that has been barren. We declare fruitfulness now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for fruitfulness, that barrenness has been turned into fruitfulness. Every area 
of barrenness. We declare productivity. We declare fruitfulness. We declare life. This is this come. This is just as it came that we may have life and have abundant life. We declare abundant life is our portion. Not just for me, but as many that are hearing me right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. As many that are under the sound of this recording. Thank you for answer prayer. In Jesus' name mighty name we pray so this brings us uh to the end of barrenness into fruitfulness so may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord cause his countenance to shine upon you brightly and give you peace and joy in the holy ghost may the lines begin to fall for you in pleasant places in the name of jesus we declare that barrenness is over fruitfulness productivity is your portion from this day forward in jesus name amen and amen